uh, in this situation, the uh, various vendors here will uh, allow you to shoot their demo guns, and that way you get to try it before you buy it, and then you can go to your local gun store and buy whatever you like the best. Okay, and uh, we've got Browning, we've got Benelli. What, what are some of the manufacturers over here today? We have Smith & Wesson's up the hill. Uh, pretty much most of your major manufacturers. We've got Benelli uh, USA with their brand, their family of brands, Benelli, Franke, Stoger. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got Browning and Winchester here. You've got Smith & Wesson. Uh, you've got uh, Freedom Arms, I think. Are Freedom up there. Arms is up there. There's yeah. there's some other brands up there as well. Yeah, and uh, so they, the public can come down here. They can they can buy the the ammo from Sportsman's Warehouse, right? Correct. And then they can shoot whatever gun they want to shoot. Correct. Pretty much, if they buy the ammo, sign off on the waiver, they can come in and shoot as much or as little as they want. Uh, they can shoot uh, anything from 22 on up to 50 caliber BMG. Uh, you've got uh, an assortment of all sorts of shotguns and all sorts of gauges and different shapes and sizes just uh, for different sporting purposes. So, you've got, you'll, ha yours. you'll have field guns, you'll have sporting guns. Uh, for example, this is our new uh, Synergy Field Classic. Okay. So it's got the, the classic back end. Uh, it's our newest, lightest, thinnest over and under that we currently make. Uh -huh. It's actually that anybody builds at this time, actually. Uh, you'll have things like this, which is our Synergy with the inflex recoil pad to uh, give you more recoil reduction. Okay. Uh, again, this will be in a sporting version, so you'll have the, uh, the vented uh, ported barrels and the vented rib to, again, help reduce recoil and reduce heat. Uh, again, also in our new frame, which has 300% more locking surface. It's just a very robust, uh, long-life gun. Basically, you won't be able to wear it out. We'll have, uh, you know, if, if people are looking for a, a more moderately priced firearm, we'll have things like pumps right. or semi-autos. Uh, we'll have the new Winchester Super X3, which is uh, three quarters of a pound lighter than last year, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but let me have you hold that for a second. Now let's compare it to last year's version. You tell me which would you rather carry oh, yeah. around in the field. Yeah, th this one's, this one is, you can feel the weight. Yeah, and it's only three quarters of a pound, but it feels like a lot more than that. And again, being lighter too. weight, it's, it's still gonna to it. it's gonna swing and get you on target a little faster. It's a little more handy, a little bit more maneuverable. This actually has different shims, both at the uh, receiver here, also in the recoil pad to help adjust for fit. Right. This is a very fittable gun. This is one of those things where you, as the end user, can actually help fit it to you because shotguns are largely uh, how you do is based on how it fits you, right. unlike a rifle. And this allows the user to service it rather than having to take it to a gunsmith and have them cut it and fit it and change it. It's going to reduce the price of that whole fitting the shotgun process. Okay. Where, where do they carry uh, uh, you know, the Browning and, no, Browning and Winchester? They're carried in just about every major... Uh, every major retailer will have Browning and Winchester. Right. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, it, do you guys come out here uh, uh, once a year, or you guys is this a, something that's going at, at other sportsmen's warehouses? They have an annual event, and we will be there for those events. Uh, in this case, this is their first uh, year for doing it in Pocatello. Right. Uh, they may change the date slightly, but odds are we will continue to do this every year. Okay. It's just a great opportunity for the public or the non-shooting public to come out and demo things. They've got uh, some machine guns and machine guns up here. People, right. can, the public can come in here and. Touch them, play with them, uh, shoot them. Try uh, it before you buy it. Exactly. Try yeah. it before you buy it. Uh, now uh, we do a show on the on the internet, you mm -hmm. know, on uh, the Idaho Examiner, Western State Sportsman, and my Outdoor TV. Um, and uh, where can they your website for people to go look at these? Browning.com and Winchester-Guns.com. Okay. They can well, view all the products there. All right, and is there a uh, like a number that they can call if they want to uh, order a gun or, or? They will need to contact their local retailer. Okay. Uh, in the Pocatello area, that would be Sam's, Docks, and Sportsman's Warehouse, obviously. Okay. Well, BJ, hey, thanks a lot. It looks like Excellent. we're gonna have a good shoot out here today, and and uh, um, I'm looking forward to doing some shooting myself. Excellent. Right, we'll well. Uh, set you up. We'll throw some targets for you. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Barska Sport Optics products, as diverse as the customers who use them. Quality. Value. Technology. Offering the most extensive line of products 
coupled with precision craftsmanship and innovation at a price you can afford. Ultimate Camo, a digital photographic camouflage created by Mother Nature herself, not an artist. Our all new bark pattern was designed specifically for use in or around trees in all types of environments and renders the hunter virtually invisible. A tree's bark doesn't change color with the seasons. Why should you change your camouflage? Try Ultimate Camo, because not seeing is believing. You know, uh, I was talking over here to Browning a little bit ago, and uh, they were telling me that you guys come out here uh, once a year to show the public uh, what you do. Correct. And uh, actually, you've got some pretty, uh, uh, these are all new guns. Uh, is this this year's guns? Or? These are all this year's guns, right. Okay. And we've got a dozen different finales out here. So it's an opportunity for somebody to come out and just try several different kinds and see what they like, what they are familiar with, and just try them out. All right. Is there some specific models here that you want to talk about? Uh, uh, you might show the public that what you know what's coming out. Or now, are all these out at the store? Uh, most of these are at the store. Yes. Uh, Benelli is in a situation right now where we actually can't make enough shotguns. So not every single model that we make is in every single store. Okay. Uh, but uh, could you tell us the difference on some of these guns? You know, like uh, you got some camo guns here. Now Certainly. You use them for turkey hunting, I'm assuming. You could use our camo guns. Uh, there's quite a bit of turkey hunting that's done up here, but also waterfowl hunting. Uh, waterfowlers love camo guns. So we do a gun like this. This is called our Nova pump. Now this pump gun has been out for several years and it is unique in that it's a one-piece frame from butt up to the barrel and that makes it easier for us to make it's a very simple gun and very inexpensive too okay what is a gun like this retail uh, a, a synthetic gun like that is going to be about three hundred dollars okay so very affordable gun very very affordable okay we also do it in in the gun that he's going to use and and we have a recoil reduction system that we place in some of our guns that's okay. called Comfort Tech. Okay. And that helps to absorb felt recoil. All so right. you will get up to 50% less recoil in this shotgun than another shotgun that doesn't have it on it. Okay, and uh, very affordable gun also. Uh, yeah, in our auto loaders, they go up in price. Uh -huh. uh, our least expensive is that Nova pump. Okay. Uh, from there, they go up. Now, you know, I wanted to ask you something. A lot of guys uh, are getting into whitetail hunting around here on the river bottoms mm -hmm. now, short range only. Um, what's a, actually a good gun for that? Um, if you were looking for a shotgun that way, for instance, this is our model. This is called an M2, mm -hmm. okay? And we make this in a camouflage also, and we also make it in short barrels, and we make it in rifled slug barrels also. Okay. And that would be an excellent choice there. Okay. All right, and then uh, for waterfowl, what are we looking at? On waterfowl, waterfowl, same type thing. The M2 is great. Our most popular gun would be this one. This is called the Super Black Eagle II, okay. and this is a three and a half inch Magnum. That is the first three and a half inch auto gun ever made. All right. Now there are other manufacturers that now make them, but this is the original gun. Okay. Extremely popular because you can shoot any type of 12 gauge shell in it. Two and three quarter inch, three inch, three and a half inch. Uh, well, the public's just going to have to come here down here and try. You guys got so many great guns. And uh, uh, now, you guys are Sportsman's Warehouse does this all over the country. We do. Or, and and all, you get all the different manufacturers come yeah, and look at. Absolutely. And, and you can just Google Benelli and you'll come up with it. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate it. I know you're busy. It looks like you got people that are wanting to shoot. So absolutely. Thank you. And we'll. Uh, We'll, be, we'll just be moseying around here, and uh, the guys are going to be shooting again. Great. So Terrific. If you want to shoot, oh, I've I got will. shells for you. I will. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This is Dave Langston. I'm here with Bob Baker, Freedom Arms, right? Uh, Bob, you know, I, I was talking to the guys down at Benelli and, and in Winchester and Browning, and they explained, you know, what, what's going on here. Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the handguns. It sounds like they're blowing up some dynamite over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you got, now this is an, uh, an annual event you guys are going to do, right? Yeah, this is the first one they've done, uh, but they're hoping to do it annually. Uh, something uh, a day at the range where the public can come out and try out the different guns and, and 
okay. and get a little experience with them. Okay. Could you tell me a little bit about Freedom Arms and uh, how you guys got started and where you're located at? Freedom Arms, uh, we're about two hours from here in Star Valley, Wyoming, uh -huh. a little town called Freedom. Uh, started back in the late 70s. Uh, we produce single action revolvers. Uh, currently producing what we call the Model 97 and the Model 83, which means that's the years they were started. Okay. Uh, produce a whole variety of calibers, anywhere from 17 HMR up to the 500 Wyoming Express. Okay. Our product line is, is more a specialty product line, very high grade. It's for the people that need uh, high accuracy, a lot of power, a lot of durability, reliability, okay. uh, silhouette shooting, hunting. Okay. Uh, all the major game of the world has been taken with our guns. We're up to elephant. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what? Why don't we take a walk right on over here and you can show me okay. some of the guns we're talking about. You know, we uh, come over, we, we came over here to look at some of the guns that you got, and you were talking about. Could you show me some of the models that uh, you know that uh, it maybe is new to the market, or uh, uh, just some of the? You were talking about elephants, even. Yeah. So, well, we'll start at some of the smaller guns. These are our model 97s, a little bit smaller frame. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one showing the new Triticon red dot sight. Okay. Uh, this is chambered in 22 long rifle. Okay. We also have like 32 and, and 44 special, 45 Colt. Uh, I don't see the 45 Colt here. But anyway, then you get into our larger frame guns. This is one that's set up specialty for uh, silhouette shooting. It's 22 long rifle. They shoot to 100 meters. Uh, this is basically the preferred gun in silhouette shooting. We also built center fire models, uh, typically in 357, uh, 41 mag or 44 mag. With these, they're shooting up to 200 meters. Typically at the IMSA International shoot, uh, for the last number of years, about 80% of the revolvers used are Freedom Arms revolvers. It's because they're so accurate. So these aren't just for hunting. I mean, these are actually uh, turning guns. Uh, they, they use them in shoots and stuff around the country. Right. Our three main markets are the hunters, the competitive shooters, and then collectors. A lot of people buy them as an investment. Uh, now, what is a if you had to pick out one of your guns uh, for big game out west here? Uh, you know, Probably a uh, 454 Casul. Uh, this one's chambered in 454, but this is more of a sidearm for personal protection. Uh -huh. uh, but you can get it set up like this with a longer barrel scope on it, where you can reach out there. Uh, elk. I've taken quite a number of elk at 100 yards with the gun set up just like that. So it's pretty. pretty it's still pretty challenging at 100 yards. It is. Uh, I've gone further than that, uh, but you know what I want to do is if, if I'm getting that further, I make sure I've got a really good rest. Of course, I shoot a lot, practice a lot, make sure I know what my trajectories are, my ranges, things like that. Make sure I get a good clean kill. So. Uh, Bob, how can, they, how can they reach Freedom Arms? Uh, and where are you guys carried at? They're, we're kind of a specialty gun. Uh, there's a few gun shops around the country that carry our product, uh, but most of it is special order. Okay. Uh, our website is freedomarms.com. Okay. Uh, look us up there, or phone number is 307-883-2468. Uh, we're in Wyoming, as I mentioned earlier. Well, Bob, I appreciate you coming down and letting everybody try out the guns. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you next year. Great. Right. We'll look forward to it. All right. Hey, thank you. You bet. Basically, we'll be shooting the 500 Wyoming Express. Uh, it's a fairly new cartridge out. Uh, it's belted 50 caliber handgun cartridge. Uh, it's developed at Freedom Arms for our revolvers.
We designed an ice fishing product that is a drive unit that sits on top of the ice, along with a drive cable, and then a spinner head that spins around underneath the ice. You can adjust the length of the cable to adjust the depth that you're trying to attract fish at, and that's the whole basis of it is it's a fish attractor. We use a flash for sight, the spinning uh, spinners here. We also use a scent pocket and a solid tablet that we insert into that flasher, and we distribute sight by the flash, and the scent spinning around pumps it down into a given area. Iron plant technology means that it has a uh, uh, technology integrated, a matrix technology that the U University of Wisconsin Polymer Research Center co-developed with us that allows these soft baits to stay on the hook virtually for good. These lures do not score, they do not come off. Hi, I'm Bill Garcia with Smith & Wesson. Um, we're over here and we've got the 500 Smith & Wesson. Uh, it's a large X-frame revolver. Uh, shoots a pretty big bullet and I guess these guys want to see me shoot it. I'll load three of them up in here. This ought to look pretty cool. Pretty cool. Bill, uh, you know, we just got done, you just got done shooting that 500. Mm -hmm. that, that was an amazing gun. It is a big uh, gun. It's it the is, biggest, baddest out there. Is that the biggest gun It is, made? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Really? And how long has that 500 been out? Uh, it's been uh, about a couple of years now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You know, everybody goes back to Dirty Harry 44 Magnum, mm -hmm. you know. It, now, which gun is that one? The, the, the 44. Dirty Harry gun is a, um, a Model 629. Mm -hmm. Similar to this one here, um, in the traditional gun, it was a blued gun with a um, wood grip, a walnut grip. Right. We are making that gun again because people wanted us to bring back some of the classics. Right. But that yeah. was in a 44 Magnum. Uh, the 500 Magnum is much, much bigger. It's a much bigger frame. Uh, this is an L frame uh, in a 44 Magnum, and that's an X frame, which okay. is the largest they make. You know, and they always, they always, they, when you think Smith and Wesson on handguns, you think of personal protection, but Correct. it's much more than that. I mean, there, you can actually use these to hunt with, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, could you show me some of the guns here that that you would use maybe out west here on our mule deer or antelope, mm -hmm. uh, even elk hunting? Well, what we have, uh, again, getting back to the 44 Magnum, is probably about where you want to start for big game. Okay. Um, it's, it's flat enough shooting for, for shooting antelope up close, um, but the real gun for western hunting would be the 460. The 460 has the capability of shooting a 45 Colt, a 454 Casul, or the 460. Uh, the 460 is flat shooting, it's got a lot of horsepower, certainly enough horsepower to take down an elk. Okay. All right. And, and, and now for a beginner, mm -hmm. for somebody that's just getting into this sport, what kind of gun do you recommend? Well, usually we tell people to start off small. Uh, it teaches them to shoot a little bit better, mm -hmm. um, so they're not afraid of recoil and things of that nature. So we go with the 22s. We've got the, um, the P22s here from Walther, which is one of the Smith & Wesson brands. Mm -hmm. um, one of the really nice 22s is our Model 41, which we've been making uh, the same way for, for many years. Uh, that gun is actually made by three people. Uh, from start to finish. Okay. Uh, it's a very accurate, very um, very good gun, very easy gun to shoot. New for this year um, on the um, on the self-protection end or mm -hmm. for target shooters, uh, we've got the MMPs. And MMP stands for military and police. Um, and we make we make that in a nine millimeter, a forty, a three fifty seven sig and a forty five as well. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, it looks like you've got quite the collection of guns here. We do. So uh, I, I do appreciate you coming out because I know you probably came a long way to get here. Yeah. And you'll be here next year. I will Sportsman's be here next Warehouse year. Warehouse will probably have this again. Yes, they will. Uh, but uh, I appreciate you coming appreciate out. Appreciate it. Thank and, you very uh, much. We're going to try that 500 here in just a bit again, aren't we? Not a problem. You're, right. you're going to get to shoot that one now. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. You got it. All right.
this is Dave Links. I'm here with Chad Bambro. Yes, sir. Yep, uh, Nikon. Yes, sir. And uh, we're actually out here filming this whole event. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, you know. We're all suffering too through some of this, but that's all right. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Tell us a little bit about what you brought today and what's new for 2007-2008. What I brought is uh, what I wanted to show to everybody is the the BDC reticle. Um, okay. Nikon has this new reticle. It's the bullet drop compensating reticle. Uh -huh. Allows guys to. Uh, to have points of aim lower on their vertical cross and what we've done a little different than everybody else is we went with circles instead of lines or dots mm -hmm. what that allows guys to do is, is actually see their target through their through their crosshair it okay. works kind of like what, what a peep sight would on a bow or an old oh really eye. your eye will automatically center that up and it allows you to see your still maintain eye contact on your right. target instead of totally covering it and that can be set for different ranges as well depending on what a guy wants to to do with his gun how he wants to set it up uh -huh. where do you zero that and it has four different circles to choose from and you get that set up for your particular gun and caliber and it goes hand in hand with the you know a good range finder knowing the distance and knowing what your gun does at that distance being able to make a longer and more ethical shot right now are these currently on the market right now where yes, people sir. and where do you uh, where would somebody pick this up at uh, most all the shops are in town um, sportsman's warehouse, warehouse reeds mm -hmm. um, Sam's, all the, all the guys around. Okay, and uh, is, what's the price point on something like this? And they're going to start around $150 and go up to about $500. So they're, 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 they're priced pretty reasonable for the, you know, anywhere, you know, you got different ones you can go with there. So. You both have their Pro Staff Series and their Buckmaster and the Monarch Series. Okay, all right. Uh, Chad, we're going to actually uh, get you shooting through here. Okay. You don't mind, do you? No. All right. We'll give you a second, get ready to, you know, get set up, and okay. then uh, we'll get you shooting the gun. Sounds great. All right. Hey, thank you. Chad, where can they, uh, you guys are online, right? Yes. Uh, and that's at www.nikon.com. Chad, appreciate it, and uh, you know we'll look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks for coming out and let everybody try it out. Thanks, you guys. Uh -huh. I'm here with Patrick Milburn, Taurus Handguns. Uh, Patrick, uh, you know, we're all out here having a good time, and but you know, the main, the main reason we're here is to show your guns off. Exactly. And uh, could you tell us a little about the Taurus line? somebody well it would and the accuracy or detour somebody yeah, exactly. detour somebody exactly. I should say um, now is, is this a new model that's out or um, it, it's not brand new but we do have some new formulations and different lengths of barrels and models coming out in it so uh, we've had it out now for uh, a few years but it's just getting more and more interest and lots of popularity we actually can't build them fast enough. oh really yeah a lot of demand it seems like they're selling faster than we can get them into the store and they carry this at sportsman's warehouse yep, and they do and okay. other local Okay, and this one right here? Well, you know, our rendition of the old, traditional old faithful, 1911. You know, the mm -hmm. thing's been around forever. Um, Taurus is famous for building a lot of quality and a lot of features into guns. Right. And still having a great price point. Mm -hmm. uh, this gun has features that you will find on guns costing hundreds of dollars more. Mm -hmm. So that's been the great attraction of our, our version of the 1911. It's been an excellent gun. Okay. Uh, what about
do we got down here further uh, down the line? Another model has been extremely good for Taurus is the 24-7. Uh, uh -huh. That's a 40 caliber auto, uh, high cap magazine. Good, reliable gun, and again, great, great price point for the features that you'll find on the gun. And then we move over here, we've got a couple of the revolvers, a uh, 44 Magnum Tracker. Okay. A lot of people use those in areas where they might figure they need uh, a little protection. Right. And, uh, So these are these are also hunting guns also as, oh, yeah. as sure. far as in fact I was just talking to a gentleman earlier. He's got our tracker in the four fifty four Casul and he hunts deer with it. Oh does he? Oh yeah. Yeah, he yeah, says he has a lot of fun. And you can put scopes on these too? You can get mounts and put scopes on a lot of the models. Mm -hmm. Most of the guys on the longer barrel models will end up scoping them up. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these where they're they're using them as a multi purpose kind of carry slash hunting, mm -hmm. they'll hunt them with open sight. Okay. Uh, Patrick, where can they uh, look at this on the web at? What's your web uh, address? You know, Taurus does have a website, and it's www.taurususa.com. Okay. Well, you know, Patrick, hey, appreciate hey, you great. coming out, and we'll look forward to seeing you next year. Yeah, enjoy having you here. All we'll right. be here again. Okay, thanks. You bet. I'm here with Jason McClung, and you're with Tannerite? Tannerite. Tannerite uh, uh, exploding, uh, targets. exploding Targets. And... Uh, Tell us a little bit about this. I've been watching them blow up as I've been coming down the line, so you know I have to turn my head every so often. But uh, yeah, tell us uh, a little bit where they came from and who invented them and uh, what you're doing out here. Well, the, they're a good target indicator for long-range shooting. Uh, mm -hmm. you, they explode and you can hear it. You get the smoke, so you know you hit it. Uh, Daniel Tanner invented this stuff. Uh, it's a two-part binary uh, chemical reaction that can only be set off with a high-powered rifle. Uh, you put a teaspoon of uh, zirconium in this, shake it all up till it's gray, and you're ready to go. Uh, the only thing to set this off is a rifle, mm -hmm. a high power. A 22 right. won't set it off. Uh, you can throw it in your campfire. It won't burn. Uh, and when you do hit the target, it explodes. There's no flame. There's no fire. Mm -hmm. It's just a loud bang and smoke. So it's it's good, safe bow. Uh, okay. All right, and, and they, where can they pick this up at? Is there like a website or? There is a website, uh, tannerite.com. Okay. Uh, I also sell it here uh, as a local distributor, just to the, mostly word of mouth. Right, are, are you out of Pocatello here? I am. Okay, and, and is there a phone number people can call you at to get this? Yeah, you can uh, call me here at 208-317-1070. Uh, okay. Um, I've got email, it's, uh, Kind of a corny one. It's Jason M fifteen one five at mm -hmm. msn dot com. Okay. I check all right. that all the time. Okay. And and what do these run? Um, they're about eighty nine dollars a case. Okay. And you get twenty of these in a case, mm -hmm. so that's about four dollars and fifty cents each. Okay. But you know you could buy a uh, a fountain at the Fourth of July for more than that. Yeah. Yeah. This is a lot more fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Jason? We're gonna uh, uh, take a little break here, get you all set up, and we're gonna let you blow one of these things up and show what the public what it does. Okay, All sounds right. good. All right, thanks. Thanks. Okay. We'd like to thank our sponsors, 20 Below Outdoor Products, home of the Rocky Mountain Salmon Slammer, Varska Optics, since 1994, value quality, and new technology. Ironclad, global innovation for the world's pastime. Ready Lure, because the fish won't wait. Ultimate Camo, because not seeing is believing. And Zigo Sport Boat, home of the ultimate one-man fishing boat. Doc, Doc's Gun Barn here right. in Pocatello, Doc. 
thanks for safe. taking the time out. And uh, you know, uh, you're kind of a staple here in Pocatello. We all know you. You've been around forever, it seems like. And you've got some fabulous stuff that you have at the store, and you also right. brought out here. Um, it looks like everybody's looking at these binoculars. Yeah. That's you know, this is a relatively new line that we've tested and our range anywhere from to about $700. Mm -hmm. Super quality. Every one of their ones has a unlimited lifetime warranty. Okay. Uh, that's not the reason to buy them. The reason to buy them is to look through them and you can see some features in there that you can't get on any other glasses in uh -huh. that price range. Okay. All right. And you've got some different ones here, it looks right. like. Uh, um, Doc, tell me a little bit about these binoculars you got out here. The, you know that everybody's looking yeah. at. It's a relatively new company. We tested them all. They really work great. The nice thing about them is that all the line is Audubon approved too. Mm -hmm. So I can take and stand here and read that sign with any of these glasses. Yet mm -hmm. focus out here at 75 yards and look six miles and have very minute adjustment for focus. All of them are roll top, clicks up, uh, all have the flip up so you can block one if you want to for using. Right. Another product they have is a doubler that slips on to all their units, uh -huh. doubles your power, and falls wow. in a price range of about a little over $100, where other ones are in the $300 range. Mm -hmm. uh, quality on them, outstanding. Now, th these are all just by. Looking at them, I can tell they're they're uh, uh, waterproof. All waterproof, all armored, uh, multi-coated uh, lenses on every one of them. Okay, and, and you probably got there's a one there's, in here for a budget for everybody. Yeah, right? this is their top of the line series. Like I say, these are in about the 700 area for eights or tens, mm -hmm. and they go down to about 175, and they do go down a little bit more, but during our tests, we didn't feel that they were the kind of quality that we would use for hunting when you spend as much as we do on hunting anymore. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> you want to see a good picture, these glasses will do it. Also, almost every pair they've got has a large ocular lens. Mm -hmm. Using glasses, even with sunglasses on, I can come up and get a full picture with them no problem. Uh, they are some people have thicker spacing for their glasses. Right. They all click and lock in a certain position so you can adjust them for any way that you want. Okay. Um, it, you know, you, you got these out here, but you also got, you know, like one of the pro staff guys, Dave right. here, he was looking at these also. and, and uh, These are the Browning bipods. This model here not only swivels, can't just push in, pull it down, locks in position. If you're shooting off a rest, you can still expand it out to give you more support. Right. Uh, very nice units. These you can adjust to any spot you want for an uneven surface, wherever you want it to go. It just retracts back up, pulls up, exceptionally light. Uh, you can feel like this one here, even in the case, it's not super heavy. Oh, yeah, that's light. You can throw that right in your backpack mm -hmm. and you're ready to go and then put it on the gun when you're yep. ready to hunt. Mount right on your standard swivel. We recommend using a machine screw one that fits in with a locking nut. Uh -huh. That way they're going to be real solid on there. Right. But the nice thing is, is that for any use, you can cant it. I can rotate it around so it's not picking up and adjusting your bipod all the time. And, and now for, for, you know, this is, this is a national show that we're doing, and, and uh, uh, people back east may not necessarily use this. This is for, like, out west, it's, western hunting, isn't it? It's for where you have to clear the grasses. Uh, These things will come out far enough that you can or kneel and still take the shot with great stability. Mm -hmm. I and mean, even pushing on it, you can see that's good solid rest. Mm -hmm. These things will close up in that position. I mean, you don't have to lock them all back, so you right. have a lot of rest up there. Okay. All right. Uh, Doc, I wanted to ask you something. Do you have a website? Uh, or not anymore? I don't. I too busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know he's a guy, but uh, now people can order stuff from around the country from you, right? Right. If they see mm -hmm. something on the show they like, or yep. 
or like these these binoculars, for right. instance, or, or the, the rest, uh, how can they get a hold of you? Basically, we have a email address they can get a hold of us, or they can call us on the phone. Uh, our email is docsgunbarn at hotmail.com. Okay. Uh, I wish I was a foot personality. I'd have websites because some of this product that people read about don't have a chance to try right. at least they can go out and check the websites of these different companies and get an idea what these products are like right, um, right. vortex makes two great spotting scopes mm -hmm. that are super and they make an attachment that with all these lcd cameras they've got out in digitals any camera will go to their spotting scope so they can just Click the picture of the game they want, right? And you're talking in the fifty-dollar area for either the big one or for the small one. So, very good company. Uh, we try to test everything that we sell. Uh -huh. If we're not happy with it, we don't want anybody else to be right. unhappy with it, so we don't sell. It. Right. And, and you know, and to let the viewers know, you don't just carry new guns. I mean, you've got some. You've got some uh, antique gun, collectible oh, yeah. guns in there. So if there's collectors out there, they can give you a call right. yeah, we, at the store and see if you've got this particular We have over 2,000 guns uh, in stock most times, mm -hmm. and a lot of it is uh, people are getting older and selling off collections, so we have quite a few collectibles. Mm -hmm. uh, we do internet sales basically through Guns America, and they can find us most of the higher grade guns we will have on site. Okay. All right, Doc, and, and your phone number one more time? It is area code 208-233-3912. Okay, and I wanted to hear yeah. about these real quick. You were showing them to somebody yeah. over here. This is a set that I've had for a number of years, and they were about $300, and you can see how big they are. Well, these new ones out are in the $30 range, do basically the same thing. Uh -huh. You can put them on, have a conversation while people are talking, and if somebody fires a gun like that, it kicks them off and then kicks them back on. Oh. So it's great for going out and for have other people shooting down the bay. Mm -hmm. You can still talk to your partner with you or your wife or right. whoever's out shooting with you. Kicks off when you need them, kicks back on. I wish they had better control of fish out here. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm going to have to get me a pair of these because I'm having to go without them right now or I wouldn't be able to talk to you. What you want to do is just put them on, put these to the front, then turn this up. Yeah, you should be able to here. carry on a conversation and still kick off when you have some problems with the guns being fired close. Uh, but you're down to a price where the average can afford good protection without having to take them on and off and on and off all the time. Right, yeah. And again, they can pick this up at uh, your store, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, Doc, I appreciate it. We'll be oh, out here, we'll be out here next Dave. year, and thanks for coming out yep. and uh, letting all the guys try out the different well, products and guns we, and stuff. Uh, we like to let people see some of the new items that they normally wouldn't see. Right. Uh, and like I say, this line of uh, Vortex is well worth looking at. Well, I appreciate it, Doc. Sure. Okay. Right, thank you. Take care.